Today we're going to be taking a fresh level 1 wizard and we're going to be building up a set for him in X amount of games. I don't really know how long this video is going to be, but until I have a set I'm satisfied with, that is when the video is probably going to end. For the spell I'm going to be using Sage and we're going to be taking Meditation obviously. I'm going to remove Slow and put on Ice Bolt and there we go. This is going to be the first set we go with. For the very first game, I'm going to be doing a Goblin Caves and showing you guys how to get your first extraction. This is the hardest thing to do on Wizard, in my opinion. And once you do get your first extraction, you can then upgrade to a Spellbook, which is really good. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go. And we are in the first game of the video. The goal of this game is to basically just break every barrel, loot every chest, kill some mobs, and then get out as soon as possible so we can have some gold. I'm also just going to be dropping the stock pants. Don't think it's worth the minus five move speed, but the hat definitely is in my opinion. It's only minus three, so. Actually, I'm not going to take these old shoes. I will be selling them though. They also got a loot. Nice. And break every barrel because you can get some gear upgrades. If you, if you try to fight with one perk on wizard and no spell book, you will like actually never win. It, it is impossible. You have to just understand that your character does need some initial gold. And that's what we're going to do here. So you know, just get some distance from the goblin. Magic missile to the face. The staff does 5 damage, so it's quite insane. See what I mean? Just melted an entire room? Default wizard, guys. It's all you gotta do. Go to the mob, jump back, magic missile. Extracting from goblin caves as well is very simple now. I mean, it's the easiest it's ever been. There are six portals and they spawn very early, some of them. Um, you might not get lucky to find that first portal. There's also a seventh secret portal, uh, which is a static extraction. It's actually the staircase on my mini map at the top left, as you can see. So there's seven players with seven extractions. Um, that means everyone can get out alive with zero PVP action. It's very unlikely there won't be PVP, but yeah, and half the players died of the mobs, so. We got a Mimic. Too bad um, it was a Mimic because these chests give a lot of items. And the Mimic counts as a mob. So we hit the, the mob drop table instead of the chest. We do get one wheel leggings. I'm going to take off the frock and put those leggings on. Seems worth. We do lose some move speed, but the extra magic power is kind of nice. We also have zone 2, which is super nice. You have to be extremely unlucky uh, to not get zone, especially early on like this. We could go kill the- see what I mean? Ring of Courage. Uh, we actually just got a portal right here, I believe. This is what I mean. Now this is kind of lucky, you could say. But what I'm going to do here is probably just farm both these two chests and immediately extract. Because we just want to get out and get some gear that works for us, like some knowledge gear and a spell book for sure. There's also a guy in that room. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly open this. Grab these last two chests here. Hopefully my portal doesn't get yoinked. We got a no item treasure box. That's pretty unlucky. Uh, last chest and then I think we're going to leave here. Beautiful. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. And we're full. We can just leave. That took three minutes. And we avoided some teamers here. We would have gotten absolutely fried if we tried to PvP. 120 gold just from the collector. 38 gold for all the items we picked up. 
Also gonna sell the heavy leather leggings. I don't think I wanna use these. Trading in all the silver we made. And there we go, we have 186 gold in about three to four minutes. Gonna be picking up some heals. Unfortunately, we don't have like a very nice rolled spell book, which sucks. So I think what I'm gonna do here though is just go for the casting speed one. This is all right, it gives two strength. And that base five magic damage is gonna be really nice. Picking up some bandages. From the tailor, we're gonna be going for the oracle robe, which gives one knowledge. From the leather smith, I'm gonna be going for the occultist boots, which give one knowledge as well. These gloves would have been nice. One true magic damage, we'll be going for some reinforced gloves, I guess. And the last thing I'm gonna put money into is a crystal sword. And there we go, guys. That is the kit we have right now. We're going to dive right back in, and this time try to do a longer match to get some XP and some items, maybe even some PvP action. And we're in. We got a lantern right off the rip. Actually, it would have been nice to keep the staff just to two-hit these barrels. The crystal sword takes four. And then we get absolutely nothing from the barrel, too. Tragic. But yeah, we got the normal goblin cave map this time. Green crystal sword, that is what I love to see. Some gloves. Oh man, we are literally kitted already. It took four minutes. Now we just need to farm some levels so that we can get our second perk. Does the green nail sell for more? I don't think it does, but I will just take it for now. Gonna break every single one of these. Hoping we can get some, uh, maybe like a campfire. Or some green trinkets. Nice, we got a clarity pot. That's gonna help us a lot. You never know when the clutch clarity comes in. Okay. Like, look how easy it is to fill your bag. The chest loot, however, is kind of insane right now, so... That is definitely going to get reverted or nerfed. But it is pretty fun the way it is. Two people already dead. For those who don't know the static extraction point on this variant of the Goblin Caves, it's right here. This gate will open up near the end of the game. And then if you just walk into it, you will get the extraction, which is really nice. So just remember where it is on the map in case you need a, a portal and you don't have one. You don't know how many times that has come in clutch and just completely saved us. Little wizard hat upgrade. It's two more armor. Could be the difference. You always got to look at the stats. Oh, I do hear someone. I do hear somebody. Oh, they looted this room up, bro. Hello. There you go. Two ice bolts, a little fireball. We also have a healer shrine up there that I'm probably gonna yoink. Before I do anything, I'm gonna meditate. You always gotta assume a third party is just on the way. And if you get caught out with spells on wizard, you're just dead. And the, the reason I take ice bolt over uh, zap usually early is because the cast speed is a lot uh, faster on ice bolts. And it does have an insane amount of headshot multiplier damage. So in my opinion is just better with the uh, with less gear. Ouch. Two 
two magic staffs, bro. Damn, it's really trying to hook us up here. Okay, what did this guy loot? I'm gonna assume he had the goods. I should have bought a coin purse with uh, the remaining gold I had. I didn't even realize. Oh my, what are those? Three weapon damage, three will. This power doesn't really help us, but the three will. I mean, the three will is really good. Okay, I need to hit that shrine before I throw here. Throw the whole round. That was actually a very big kill. I already see a portal. But we do want as much XP as we can farm, so... Let's kill the mage first here. He's dying too, Ice Bolts. Damn. We are scaling boys. Is this a royal coffin? No, there's no way. Never mind. I'm gonna open the portal for XP. Let's get the big chest here in the middle. I should probably meditate. I'm kinda low on spells. Still have five fireballs though. Green quarter staff. Green longbow. This room isn't in the zone, so we can't clear every single mob. I'll probably kill a couple more goblins, then head south. I'm really trying to rush level 5. It's just it's just hard in goblin caves. Maybe we do a solo crypts run, but that's also just with one perk, it's very, very dangerous to do that. But we would get a lot of gold. If we go hell in crypts, we can get some big items. I kind of want to keep it realistic though, like not everyone's going to be able to just go hell solo crypts. You got to learn the entire map. And then just extracting the crypts too can be dangerous. Alright. Some gloves with some health, interaction speed, better armor, I'll take them. I kind of goofed up not bringing the coin purse. I did have that extra bit of gold. And we have four slots taking up gold we could be saving here. Potentially three other players in this lobby. Including me. Or sorry. Not including me. There we go. Oh my. We're dead. It's over. Someone spawned skellies below me. I did not know the uh, normal spider variant could break a pot. Someone's fighting the skelly mage. Wait, hold up. Am I hearing that? That could be big money. Let's get rid of this beetle real quick. Oh no. We got a nice portal here too. Fill up my utility belt, get some room. I'm going for this guy. Hold up. It's a rogue. Oh, he's caped. He's caped up. Woo. Oh my god, where'd he go? Where'd he go?
Hit him big. No, he's gonna take my port. Oh, man. There's a ranger here. He just folded. Dude, he took my portal, didn't he? Oh, why'd I open that? <laughs> hey, man. You know what? As long as we're as long as we're alive, we're good. I grief. That guy had some good gear. This would have been a huge second game had we got that kill. Oh, that portal's above me. I really just need to go now, don't I? Yep. Don't get greedy. Should have checked the ranger's body. It looked like he had nothing, though. Oh, we got two skellies. Oh, no. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're looking at 174 from the collector, and we also got 47 gold on top of that, just in gold. 17 extra gold from the ale and the lantern. All right, our merchants have reset. We have 242 gold now to spend. Gonna check the leather smith first. He's got some insane life of boots, cast speed, and one additional magic. I'm definitely gonna pick those up. We got a two will, one all attribute mystic vestment as well for 52 gold, which is insane. We're just gonna pick up a campfire and a few more potions. And we should be good. And yeah, right now the set isn't actually looking too bad at all. I'm probably going to play one more Goblin Caves and then we'll go into the ruins when we're level 5. We should get level 5 after this game. Let's go. Alright, we're in. We got the normal Goblin Cave map again. Let's see if we can steal some upgrades. Oh, was that my VoIP key? There's like a weird glitch where there's just static. And you hit the VoIP key. Green Rondel. Once we get our Arcane Mastery, the missiles and the invisibility will be so much faster. Which is just gonna help a ton. Big chest. Oh my. All attribute padded. I don't like the minus nine move speed, but uh, our Mystic Vestments is better. Or our, uh, we already have pretty good chest slot i could be going i want i should have an oracle rub on just because the knowledge in my opinion is more important right now we do want that cast speed we only have 29 knowledge it also didn't help that we took off the boots we had on they gave one knowledge but these do have 1.2 uh, percent cast speed so it's almost the same all right we do have a rogue in here you gotta be careful Rogues are dangerous. Nice. Big scroll. Did I hear someone? Ah, I'm tripping. I don't know. I feel like I might have heard somebody, but I'll check. Oh, okay. He's doing the centipede. Wait, wait, wait. We should clear this quick. He's pushing me. I have to meditate real fast, though. There are two goblins there that he has to fight first.
Where, where am I, dude? I'm like floating. Oh man. Ah, oh, that's so tragic. Oh good, oh good, we got this, we got this. He just got headshot by a gobbo. How's he alive? He died. Unfortunate. Not that I'm in the best situation. Woo. This is not good. Little bit of a sketchy start, you could say. <laughs> oh my god. I can just yoink this real quick. Nice. I do have to meditate. I did hear somebody, I think. I'm scared. Three weapon damage amulet with eight armor. Not the best, but hey, it's something. Three cast speed, three additional move speed gloves with some strength. All attribute magic power pants. Two knowledge hat. Very nice. There we go. I do have to get all my spells back though. I feel like he's in this room. Uh, in front of me. Please don't open the door. We're gonna have to get up clarity pot here. We do actually have a ton of clarity pots. Just gonna drink my protection potion before going in. is uh cleared hmm didn't go down there this is towards zone it would make sense someone took a portal right here you could see the after effect might have left Billion mobs on me. Oh my god. This is good though, we need the XP. I'm not complaining. Probably gonna clear out that whole room. There is a skelly mage up here. I mean a uh, golden mage. Yoink the chest right here. Alright, so let's see what he had for us. Two gold. We have two big. Oh, yeah, some mimic. That's actually XP. We take those. Any big loot. It doesn't roll the chest loot when you kill a mimic, which sucks, but I'm sure they'll change that. Four max health light fits. We could potentially lure out the centipede and kill it here. Assuming no one's already done that. We just don't have as much time as I'd hope. I'm gonna go down there. Yeah, this was all looted. Centipede's dead. Let's take the health shrine for XP. And then try to open as many portals as we can. 
Could still be a dude with us. I gotta. Make sure we don't get too greedy here. I really just want to hit level five. And we should be good here. Not about extraction. Let's go. Level five has been achieved. Very nice. Didn't take too long at all. For the second perk, we're just going to put on Arcane Mastery. From the collector, we're looking at 127 gold. Just going to sell the rest of the items to the armor here. 22 gold. We have three campfires, a bunch of meds. The shop refreshed again. We don't really have a good spell book, but we do have a blue crystal sword, which is extremely nice. I'm going to yoink that. The last thing we're buying here is the necklace of peace from the goblin merchant. Big Gamba, come on, please. Oh. That's insane. Oh my god. Three true magic, one knowledge. What? Anyway, last game is going to be in the ruins solo. Let's go. Let's hope we don't die. And if we do, I'll probably include it. Last game we're going to play is in the ruins as a solo wizard with our two perks. Let's go. And we're in the ruins. The knowledge we're packing is 32. So I'm going to stay on Ice Bolt. I really like to take Zap, but... It's just better if we have a faster cast time with Zap. Ice Bolt is still a little faster. It's also really nice for cutting. But yeah, it is what it is. We have a protection shrine. Oh, I hear a close spawn to me. Hmm. Someone's mining gold already. I'm gonna probably make my way south to the graveyard or here, just across. The graveyard's a huge hotspot for uh, PvP. Let's get rid of these two skellies. Oh, the blue crystal sword is doing damage. That three true necklace too. This is going to be huge. Lock pick. I kind of want to hit the coffin myself. Not going to lie. We could use some jewelry. I could use a ring. I do see somebody with a clarity pot on their belt right there. It's a bard. They currently have some mobs on them. I hit the whiz. That was actually a nice shot. I did hit the whiz though. Bard dead. Was dead. Oh, we're gonna get third party. I can feel it. We have a million mobs on us too. This is why we got clarities. Yep. I'm just praying we're good. <laughs> My meditation bugged. Yeah, we're chilling now. Did someone yoink the coffin while I was fighting? Surely not. Nope. Let's actually deal with that first. Oh, I see a rogue. I see a rogue. Wait, I just heard a mosquito go off. Wait, what? 
Where was that? This guy had one clarity for us. Oh, he's got to be below me, right? He's trying to mine some gold. This guy had nothing. Got some padded gloves. I think I'm going to keep these though. The cast speed is really nice. Barbarian on me. What else? Who is this? Fighter? There's a fighter with sprint there. We got him. Did he have iron will? He had to have, right? Look at all the mobs, dude. Oh no. This is gonna be hard. I think I have a meditation spot though. We should be chilling. No range mobs, right? Yeah, we're good. Pretty eventful game so far. Four kills. Jesus. Can we catch a break? I, 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 I'm not complaining. This is why I love ruins. The PVP is so fun. Fighter folded right here. Ooh, three gold or yes, a second ring. Let's go. Huge. Uh, no good rolls on the ring, but I'm not gonna complain a bit uh, about a little strength. What is barbarian a friend? His barbarian have a friend. Yes. I'm gonna quickly grab the shrine. Circle's uh, been pretty nice to us. It has been close the entire match. But sometimes that circle is not it. I'm dead. Someone's been watching Jay Griffith's streams. Clearly. There's no other way. <laughs> now I'm looking at the ground. I'm looking at the ground 24-7. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Alright, I should probably get rid of these guys. There we go. I was with the protection shrine on too, damn. Traps still chunk. I have 96 health. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're in front of me. I need to get more fireballs. If he can light if he can uh, line of sight me here, I'm just dead. This could be a bad fight to take. I do not have zap for the ranger. I do have ice bull, but Where's that portal that just spawned? I feel like it was close. Am I blind? I might be blind. Portal? Okay. Someone took one right here. Oh, I hear fighter. 
Okay. Do we just- do we just launch ourselves in? We do have a quite a bit of stuff already. Where was he? He's inside that module right there. Oh. See the ranger. Two rangers. Oh no. Oh my god. What's going down? What's going down, boys? What's going down? He's got the power shrine. Oh no. We might want to wait for that to run out. Before we get freaky. Fighters on me. Do I go for the fighter? Oh. It's Jover. One arrow. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. We're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> oh, the 90% slow, bro. We are not good. We just run here, boys. I think we just run. It's too much. It's too much damage. GG's. Honestly, I don't mind. How low is this boy? Not really low. I need to take Zap. It'll be Longbow with a Power Shrine though, so it was chunking. Not a bad run. 120 gold plus 50 in the inventory. And we also got that 3 gold ore, which right now is worth like 150 each. So yeah, this is what we've uh, come to from nothing. Level 1 wizard. We got 251 gold in the stash, 3 gold ores, some meds, campfires, and some backup gear. We could always buy some more as well from the store if we died. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you want more, let me know. Until next time, peace out.